So with all the great long telephoto lenses that Nikon makes for sports and wildlife photographers, this is a lens that doesn't get much attention or much respect, and it should get a little more love. Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Photo. I'm Bill Ferris and in this video I'd like to talk with you about Nikon's 70-300 to f4.5 to 5.6 G EDVR zoom lens. Now this is not one of Nikon's famous long telephoto f2.8 lenses. It's not the 300 or the 400. It's not the 500 or 600 f4. This is a lens that, well, it's not designed or built for the full-time professional sports or wildlife photographer. It's actually a very affordable lens. Right now on B&H and other websites online you can find this price new at just under $600. And on the used market you can often pick up a really good copy for about $300. But let me talk to you about the advantages of the 70-300. to and while we're doing that, I'm going to share with you some photos I made recently at the north rim of Grand Canyon National Park. Let's talk about the specs first. Uh, the 70 to 300, it's about 6 inches long, about 3 inches in diameter, and it weighs less than 2 pounds. It takes 67 millimeter filters on the front, and as you can tell by the size of this lens and the way I'm holding it in my hand, this is a lens that you can pack with you and take with you just about anywhere you'd want to go. Now on a recent trip to the north rim of Grand Canyon National Park, uh, I was in one of the meadows near the entrance station and observing a herd of bison that were grazing in the meadow. Now I had picked the right time of year to make this trip because it was mating season and the bulls were being fairly aggressive with their behavior. Well, unexpectedly, right in front of me, a fight broke out between two bulls in the herd. And I had the 70 to 300 mounted on my Nikon D610. And so this is the lens that I used to capture the photos that we're seeing right now. Uh, I shot it at 300 millimeters at f8. Now this is a lens that's not uh, as sharp as other lenses are wide open. Uh, but if you close it down from that f5.6, to about f6, f7, or certainly by f8, you're getting really quite a sharp lens. Now, I was shooting with the D610 in aperture priority mode, so I had that aperture locked in at f8, and I was using auto ISO to lock in my shutter exposure time at 1 1,000th 1, of a second, and I was allowing the camera then to select the ISO that would be needed in order to make a properly exposed image at 1 1,000th of a second at f8 with this lens. And as you can see from the images, I got some really good results. The autofocus tracking was good, it was fast, it was reliable. Once it locked on, it didn't lose focus. It just performed the way you need that long telephoto lens to perform when wildlife start exhibiting interesting behavior. So when you think about it, this 70 to 300 f4.5 to 5.6 G lens by Nikon. It's a great value. It costs about $600 new. It's small, it's lightweight, you can take it anywhere you want to go. So when you need a little bit of reach with your lens and a lens that will make good images for you, this is one you should consider for your kit. Well, thank you for watching. I'm Bill Ferris. I'll see you next time on 5-Minute Photo.